Hi, I'm Joe Geringer, and today we're going to learn about PEAK. Polyether ether ketone, or PEAK, is an ultra-performance semi-crystalline thermoplastic polymer. PEAK was initially discovered and later patented in 1978 by Imperial Chemical Industries, or ICI, in England. After a few years of development, ICI commercialized PEAK in 1981 under the name Victrex. PEAK belongs to a family of high-performance polymers called polyaryl ether ketones, or PAEKs. This family also includes PEC, more formally referred to as polyether ketone ketone. PEAK's outstanding properties result from its highly aromatic structure of the polymer backbone. The ketone bonds are rigid, while the ether bonds are more flexible. It is this balance of stiffness and flexibility at the molecular level that gives PEAK a good balance of mechanical properties. At the atomic level, both the ether and ketone chemical bonds are very strong, which makes PEAK highly resistant to chemical attack and thermal degradation. PEAK is used in a variety of industries, including aerospace, oil and gas, chemical processing, semiconductor fabrication, and medical devices. It has excellent resistance to chemicals and solvents even at elevated temperatures. Here you can see both an ultim and a peak part in a heated bath of dichlormethane, which is the active ingredient in common paint strippers. The ultim part is quickly attacked and dissolved, but the peak part is unaffected due to its superior chemical stability. Peak is also an inherently flame retardant polymer with a UL94V0 rating, and it passes the flame, smoke, and toxicity standards required for airworthy parts. Peak also absorbs almost no moisture, which makes it ideal for autoclaving and it passes the low outgassing test common for semiconductor processing and space applications. Peak has a melting point of 343 degrees Celsius and a glass transition temperature of 143 degrees Celsius. Because of its high crystallinity, which is typically around 35%, peak can operate well beyond its glass transition temperature. And when reinforced with glass and carbon fibers, it can support mechanical loads at temperatures very close to its melting point. Peak is incredibly stable against thermal degradation at elevated temperatures, and has a continuous to use temperature of 260 degrees Celsius. Although this material is a variety of exceptional properties, the two major drawbacks for PEAK are its extremely high cost and exotic processing conditions. The grades of PEAK designed for injection molding or extrusion applications can be challenging to 3D print because of their rapid crystallization rates and the stress that builds up during the build process. That's why we teamed up with the experts at Lehman & Voss to develop a grade of PEAK designed specifically for 3D printing. Our peak crystallizes over a longer period and with lower residual stresses than standard peak grades. Now, that doesn't mean that it's as easy to print as PLA, and you'll likely need a high temperature 3D printer, but you will see much higher success rates in printing complex parts with a sentient peak. To achieve the maximum performance out of your peak parts, you may want to anneal them in an oven after printing to increase crystallinity and remove residual stresses. Start by drying the parts at 120 degrees Celsius for two to four hours, then ramp up the temperature to 200 C and hold for 30 minutes. Then ramp up again to 225 degrees C and hold for one hour per millimeter of solid infill for the thickest section of your 3D printed part. After this, slowly cool down the parts in the oven by ramping down the temperature by 10 degrees Celsius per hour to limit residual stress buildup. Annealed peak parts will be uniform in color and have the highest degree of temperature, chemical, and wear resistance. If you would like to learn more about our high performance engineering grade polymers, head over to our website at ascentium3d.com slash materials.